I just wonder if there is any way to wash these bills, which are blood money. You know my son, he was killed two years ago. And there is so much pain in my country, in banks. Yeah, but is it a U.S. bank or somewhere else? Do you know that they wash money from the narco trafficking in Mexico? You don't know? What do you think? Thank you. Well, to be honest, this is a... My name is Belen. And I'm from Mexico. Since this bank has laundered so much money for the narco trafficking in Mexico, I just want to make people aware of what they're doing to us. Bueno, pues, bien. Queremos que se laven los dinero. Acá hay delincuentes. Acá hay delincuentes. Tengo un hijo muerto porque lavan aquí dinero. ¿Recibieron entonces? No, no. Se niegan a escuchar, se niegan a aceptar nada. This is blood money. This is Joaquín's blood on these bills. It's my child's blood on these bills. There's no way to launder this. They changed mine. There's no way to launder this. No way. The one we're taking, or it's uh, this is a show one. Mm. That's that's just a demo. I'll get a new one out of the box. Oh, they've expanded. This farm got big since I bought a gun last time. Uh, you're pretty much done. You just gotta you sign. Just the, well, flip me back was, over. Flip me back where you were. Sign and date at the very top of that page. Up here. Okay. Yeah, I haven't bought a gun in about ten years. Again, the last time I bought a gun, there was the waiting period and all that other stuff. So what is it now? I just have to call in a background check. And that's for both rifles and handguns? Yeah, they just do a background check now. Now, you actually you get a concealed handgun license, mm -hmm. it bypasses that. Yeah, I knew that. Okay, that's it. She'll be more likely to listen to me. Texas? <laughs> There's no safety on it or anything, you know, it's just a single action revolver, pretty simple to operate. And how much did you say that was? This was $400. It would just make me feel safe when I'm camping out. It would make you feel safe? I think so, yeah. 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 Well, you could you could kill most anything with that if you yeah. had to. Believe me. Yeah. Well, great. You guys are closing soon, so. Well, so, yeah. it, it closes in about seven minutes. Okay. So I'll go for it. I'll go for You'll it. You'll go for it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not a dealer, so I don't have to fill out forms, and you don't have to pay sales tax. Okay. Well, congratulations. You purchased a, a fine firearm. Now I can protect myself. You can't protect safe. yourself. On Saturday, the day before yesterday, a woman who is not a U.S. citizen and speaks with a foreign accent entered the high caliber gun and knife show outside Houston and purchased a 357 Magnum pistol with no identification whatsoever and walked out. The transaction took less than five minutes. At the same gun show, a man bought an AK-47 assault rifle after a 10-minute background check. Both transactions were legal. I am Margarita Lopez from the state of Michoacán in the middle of the country. Madre de Yajaira Guadalupe, quien fue secuestrada en su domicilio en Tlacolula de Matamoros, Oaxaca, por un comando fuertemente armado. Los testigos relatan que al momento de su desaparición, Yajaira fue golpeada dejándola inconsciente, con un arma de alto poder el 13 de abril del 2011.
Mr. Lewis was one of the original Freedom Riders. Yeah. We traveled riders. to Mississippi, Alabama, and Texas. How are Cecilia? Okay, it's an honor. He's, he's heard about you since he's a child. Okay. Thank you very much. Good to meet you. Cruzamos ese puente ahora. We cross that bridge. We cross that bridge. In homenaje. Yeah. In, in homage to, to you and Dr. King and, Thank the, you. and the civil rights. That was 47 years ago. Hace 47 años. We were walking from Selma to Montgomery. Caminamos de Selma a Montgomery. For the right to vote. Para el derecho a votar. And this man here, this man right here. Y ese hombre del, en el casco. Uh, state trooper. He said you have three minutes to disperse and return to your church. Nos dijo que teníamos tres minutos para to your home. regresáramos a nuestras casas. And this man on the side next to me said. Y el hombre que está a mi derecha. El hombre que está a mi derecha dijo. Will you give us a moment to pray? Nos dará algún algún momento para rezar. And the troopers said advance and they came toward us. Go ahead, Jamila. Y la tropa de todas maneras avanzó. That's a similar same photograph. You can go on. And a few moments after, that's what happened fue lo que pasó. Y eso fue lo que le pasó a él. I was beaten. Lo golpearon. I thought I was going to die. Pensé que yo iba a morir. I thought I saw death. Eh, vi, a la, vi la muerte. And we were chased all the way back. Did you stop at the, the church that we had there from Brown Unfortunately, church? we, we, we okay. did not have time. So, okay. But okay. I'm sure we'll get to go there. So, so we... Uh, Regresamos a la, a la iglesia de donde partimos. And because of what happened on that Sunday, y por lo, por lo que pasó ese domingo, 5 de marzo de 1965, became known as Bloody Sunday. Se conoció como Bloody Sunday, el domingo sangriento. Mm -hmm. Compramos unas armas. We bought two arms, an AK-47 and a 9mm mm -hmm. at Houston, in, in, a, in, a, in a gun store. Mm -hmm. Y al otro día las partimos con Next day we destroyed them with an electric saw. Mm. We placed them in blocks of concrete. We mixed them with concrete as a sign of peace and disarmament. We brought one of those blocks. There were four blocks. One of those blocks uh, we got to give to you because you have you are you are a great custodian of nonviolence and peace. Thank you for being the example that you are. I just tried to help out. Yo estoy tratando de ayudar, es lo único que quiero hacer. You have helped a lot. You have taught me a lot. Thank you. We all have to do our part. Todos tenemos que hacer nuestra parte. To make this, to make this world a better place. Para hacer este mundo un mejor lugar. In Mexico, where over the past five to six years, we've had over 60,000 murders, 10,000 still missing. In the United States, where we have murders as we speak and stand here right now, in some of our impoverished communities, people missing from their families, orphans being made on both sides of the border. Law Enforcement Against Prohibition is an organization of law enforcement professionals who have spent their careers fighting in the war on drugs. They were drug warriors. Formed in 2002 by five cops. Two times in United States history was the murder rate extremely high. That was the first time, alcohol prohibition. The second time we are living it with the prohibition of drugs. The war on drugs, our policies of prohibition do affect you. They reach you financially, they reach you uh, through health, they reach you through violence, whether your car is broken into, your house is burglarized because someone is trying to finance an unmanaged addiction. No one escapes these failed policies. Lo que es lo que es muy importante de la presencia de la caravana es darle un rostro al dolor. Eh, creo que ya es muy importante que la media empiece a retratar esta tragedia no como un conflicto entre 
entre eh, bandas de criminales y el ejército, sino uh, que las verdaderas víctimas son generalmente gente inocente, eh, madres, eh, padres, hijos, eh, que nada tienen que ver con, con, con esta guerra. Ojalá eh, todo el mundo se involucrara en este movimiento que es indispensable, eh, el dolor tiene que parar. Lo que está haciéndose no funciona, uh, le siguen llamando gripa a una cosa que es cáncer, y que destruye los tejidos y las fibras de la sociedad. Solo unimos reclamar a los gobiernos para que cumplan con su función fundamental, darle paz a las naciones, justicia, verdadera justicia a los pueblos. ¿Qué queremos? ¡Justicia! ¿Cuándo? Vamos a cerrar la noche proyectando una película del lado derecho.